Hey guys, so I'm back with a quick ZBrush tutorial. I've been sculpting this face here. I'm at uh, about a little over a million polys, and I'm gonna go ahead and make it low poly with better topology. This is, uh, as you can see, the Dynamesh topology, which is not very good. Now, I'm not planning to animate this model or anything like that, so I can get away with using uh, Z Remesher. Now, Z Remesher will automatically create topology for you, and uh, it, it does the best it can. Um, however, if I was going to actually animate this face, I would manually topologize because Z Remesher does a pretty good job, but it's not quite as good as uh, manual topology. However, for this being a still image, I can save a lot of time, literally hours by doing a Z remesh. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. The first thing I'll do is duplicate this mesh just in case something happens to it. And also I want this high poly model uh, so I can project the details onto the low poly model. And then I'm going to hide that and I'll use the top one as my as the model I'm going to Z remesh. So you go to geometry and the Z remesher tab right here is what you want. Uh, quick overview, you can hit the Z remesher button to run Z remesher. I'll do that real quick. And we'll just let that run. Okay, so as you can see, it kept it very high. Uh, the poly count is so over 93,000. Uh, of course, that's a lot less than a million. And the details are pretty good. The topology is very, the flow is very uh, grid like, which is not very good topology. Now, once again, I guess it doesn't matter as much in a still image, but I'm going to go lower poly than this because I'm going to use Blender to render this. So I'm going to hit Control Z, go back. And I'm going to lower the poly count by adjusting the slider here. And we're going to drop it really low and hit C Reusher. Okay, so now we're at 5,495 polys, which is uh, probably the amount that I want. However, the model looks very bad and the topology is very bad also so we can actually fix a lot of these little issues by fixing the topology the better the topology the more details will preserve in this low poly now once again the best way to do this is to manually retopologize but considering i've almost spent hours doing that i'm gonna show you this little trick I'm going to hit Control z and go back to my prior model, the 1 million poly model. And over here, you can pick the Z Remesher brush guides. And this kind of um, redirects the flow of polys while Z Remesher is um, Z Remeshing. It, it acts as a guide. So, it, for example, if I draw a triangle here, it should make topology kind of mimic this shape. So let's see what happens. And there we go. So yeah, we've kind of got some weird topology up here. Not exactly triangles, but you can tell it was definitely uh, doing something different there than it did. The time before so uh, once again not what we want so I'm gonna go back and to erase a Z remesher guide hold down the alt key and just draw a line through it now when you're making these guides the draw size matters so if you have a really big draw size the lines as you can see they're kind of big and blocky and that might work for some instances but I kind of prefer to have my draw size low so I get really smooth Z remesher guides 
So now what you'll do is you will go ahead and kind of draw out some guides for where you want your topology. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Sometimes you should draw multiple guides or direction to make sure it really picks up on the direction you want the polygons to flow. Since I'm not animating this, I'm actually going to draw my pre-mesher guides in a way that will kind of make the details pop a little better. He's not going to be blinking or anything, so I don't need full edge loops around his eyes. Okay, so you may have to draw your guides a few times, and let's just see what kind of result this gives me. Okay, so here we go, and let's see. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm fairly pleased with these results. Uh, one thing I can do that will help out is project the high poly details onto this low poly mesh. To do that, I'm going to have to add some subdivision levels, so the control D a few times. And now we're up to 2.4 million polys, probably more than enough. And I'm going to turn off the shirt and the eyes. I'll turn back on the other high poly. Swap between them. Make sure you have the model select or the subtool highlighted that you want the details to go onto. And you scroll down to project and hit project all. Let that run. Okay, so the projection has finished. And let's take a look. So here is the low poly. Turn the wireframe to see the low poly. Well, it's not really low poly, it's got lots of subdivisions, but it's the, the clean, it's the Z remeshed sub tool. And I'm gonna switch back and forth. This is the Dyna meshed tool. And back to, to the Z remeshed. See, you can't tell a difference at all. The only difference is the Z Remesh model has the cleaner topology. Now, what I can do is, since I want to render this in another program, I can come over here and turn my geometry, my subdivision level down to one. Take this into my other modeling program and bake normal maps off of the fifth subdivision level. So my so this model right here will have a normal map that makes it look like this. And uh, that about wraps it up for this uh, Z Remesher tutorial. The uh, projection part was kind of a little bonus. So I hope you guys found it useful. If uh, you have any comments, leave them below. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, and uh, come back for more videos. Uh, thanks for watching.